Hi there, folks. It's nice to meet you. You can call me Professor Lindsay, Dr. Lindsay, or Dr. Jen. Here's a picture of the awesome shoes I wore at my PhD graduation a few years ago. We are meeting at a very strange point in human history, beginning an online course that was supposed to be in vivo in Rome, Italy. But instead, there was a global pandemic, and you guys can't travel to Italy, and I can't even leave my house. So now we have to meet online. Since we can't meet in person, I'd like to introduce myself and show and tell you a little bit about my background. I'm originally from San Diego, California, where I grew up reading, hiking, biking, running for my high school cross country team, singing in bands, performing in theater, and playing with my beloved family animals. I come from a proud line of University of California alumni. My grandmother, Eleanor, was one of the first women to earn a bachelor's degree in political science at UCLA. My parents met and fell in love at UCLA during a caving expedition with the Bruins Mountaineering Club. For several years, my brother was a professor of political science at UC San Diego. I've always been a writer and an artist. I love to sing while I play my guitar or ukulele and also in choirs. I earned my bachelor's degree in playwriting at Stanford University before I moved to New York City in 2001. For almost 10 years there, I made music as a singer-songwriter, putting out 10 studio albums and playing concerts all over the place. I also got a job at MTV and reality television, where I started learning how to tell stories with documentary footage. Eventually, I got my own camera and started making my own films. After a decade as an artist, I decided to go back to school to explore my fascinations with human communities, conflict, storytelling, and rituals. Ten years later, I ended up with a PhD from Boston University, where I studied the social science of religion. I researched religious and social diversity, interreligious conflict and cooperation, and how religion can push communities together or pull them apart. Along the way, I became the documentarian for the Center for Mind and Culture, a research institute in Boston that supports rigorous scientific research about complex social problems. In 2014, I moved to Rome, Italy, to study interreligious dialogue both here in Italy and beyond. I've continued to make films about religious diversity and social change, and I teach about my findings at various American university programs. And I create videos and news pieces to share with the broader public. In my spare time, I enjoy exploring the parks and palaces of Rome with my wonderful husband, Eduardo, and our awesome dog, Neelix, who's named after a character in Star Trek Voyager. I also sing in a choir, and I make art as much as I can. Hopefully someday we'll get to meet in person, but for now, I greet you from my kitchen. This is my spice rack. I'll do my best to teach this course in a way that is engaging and eye-opening. I'm just an email away if you have any questions at all. And it is very nice to meet you.